Upper Respiratory Infection Soap Note by Jennifer Walker. J.H., a 29-year-old Caucasian male, presented to the clinic with complaints of cough and congestion for six days. HPI, the patient reports he woke up Saturday feeling congested with a runny nose. He reports clear nasal discharge. The patient reports that Sunday night he started coughing. The patient reports that his throat feels itchy but does not hurt. It is a dry cough with no phlegm production. The cough wakes the patient up at least once a night. The patient reports using his inhaler twice a day during the last five days. The patient reports that his inhaler helps relieve the feeling of chest tightness. The patient reports that he has tried cough drops and mucinex with minimal relief. The patient reports he has been coughing so much that his chest began to hurt yesterday. The patient points to his sternocostal region and his costochondrial region. The patient reports that the pain is in between his ribs. The patient denies radiation of the pain. The patient denies jaw pain or arm pain. The patient reports that the pain is 5 out of 10, a tight ache that mainly occurs while coughing. The pain is increased when the patient lays down. The patient denies that the pain is worsened by leaning forward. The patient reports not taking anything to reduce the pain. The patient denies shortness of breath, fever, and fatigue. Past medical history. Allergies. The patient reports seasonal environmental allergies with no known drug, pet, food, or latex allergies. The patient's current medications include albuterol, 90 mic, two puffs every four hours as needed for wheezing or shortness of breath. Singular, 10 mg PO daily, and Claritin, 10 mg PO daily. The patient has received all of his childhood immunizations. He received his Tdap in 2020, and he does get his flu vaccination annually. The patient has refused the COVID vaccination. The patient's medical history includes mild intermittent asthma, allergic rhinitis, and seasonal allergies. Review of systems. Constitutional. The patient reports no recent chills, fever, or fatigue. H-E-E-N-T. The patient reports clear nasal drainage and congestion. The patient denies blurry or double vision. The patient denies burning or dry eyes. The patient denies vertigo, tinnitus, or ear pain. The patient reports no pain in his mouth, but his throat feels itchy. The patient denies lumps or tenderness in his neck. Cardiovascular. The patient denies palpitation or irregular heartbeats. He reports no swelling in his lower extremities. Respiratory. The patient denies sputum production and hematoiesis. The patient reports dry cough. The patient denies shortness of breath or dyspnea. Muscle skeletal. The patient reports pain in his chest in between his ribs around his sternum. The patient denies any swelling or stiffness. Objective. Vital signs are all within normal limits. Constitutional. The patient is well-groomed and does not appear toxic. The patient is in no apparent distress. H-E-E-N-T. The patient's head is normal cephalic and atraumatic. The patient's eyes have bilateral injected conjunctiva perla with bilateral 2 millimeter pupils. The patient's EOM is intact. His ears, bilateral tympatic membranes are pearly gray with normal light reflexes, no visualized swelling or redness. The patient's nose bilat appears with bilateral turbinates boggy with clear drainage visualized. The patient's mouth and throat. His neck is supple with no noted swelling or tenderness, no palpable lymph nodes. The patient's airway is patent with midline uvula and plus one erythematous bilateral tonsillars without exudates. Postnasal drip was visualized. Cardiovascular. Heart rate and rhythm is regular with S1 and S2 auscultated. Apical pulse 88 with PMI not displaced. No swelling was noted in the bilateral lower extremities. Plus two pedal and radial pulses bilateral. Respiratory system. Respirations 18 with no noted use of accessory muscles or increased work of breathing. 
Lung sounds are clear in posterior and interior bilateral lung fields without wheezes, ronchi, or rails. Symmetrical chest movement was noted with no tactile firmitus or egophony. Muscle skeletal system. Tenderness noted in costochondral region with moderate pressure. No pain was elicited when the patient leaned forward. Assessment. The differentials include upper respiratory infection, as the leading diagnosis for this patient, the differential is supported by the patient's complaint of rhinitis, congestion, cough, and sore throat. The diagnosis is further supported by physical assessment findings, including injected conjectivia, boggy turbinates, postnasal drip, erythematous throat, and dry cough. The second diagnosis is con condocrostal Junction syndrome. The differential is supported by the patient's complaint of pain in the sternal coastal region and the costochondral region that started with intense coughing. The diagnosis is further supported by the patient's physical assessment findings of tenderness noted in the costochondral region with moderate pressure. The third Differential is COVID-19. The differential is supported by the patient's complaint of rhinitis, congestion, cough, and sore throat. The diagnosis is further supported by physical assessment findings, including injected conjectivia, boggy terminates, postnasal drip, and dry cough. The differential is less likely due to the negative COVID essay. The definitive diagnoses are upper respiratory infection and condocost chondrocostal junction syndrome. The plan is Dianet diagnostics included administering a rapid molecular assay for influenza and a rapid reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction assay for COVID-19. The patient's test resulted in negative for both assays. No other diagnostic tests are warranted at this time. All patients that present to the clinic with flu-like symptoms are tested for influenza and COVID. The treatment included Bromfed DM 10 milliliters PO every four hours, PRN for cough, Advair 100 mics and 50 mic inhalation, one puff BID, Tordal IM 60 milligram once, Tordal 10 milligram PO three times a day for five days. NSAIDs are recommended for moderate muscle skeletal chest pain. The patient was encouraged to take a spoonful of honey in the morning and before bed. Honey may reduce coughing, especially at night. Continue albuterol as needed and continue Claritin in singular as prescribed. Patient education included to apply heat or cold to his chest Cold is recommended in the first 48 hours and heat thereafter. Heat helps bring blood flow to the areas, which will help reduce swelling and inflammation that is causing the pain. The patient was also encouraged to perform frequent good hand hygiene techniques and cough into the elbow to prevent the spread to others. The patient was encouraged to increase fluids, especially warm fluids like tea, to help thin secretions and soothe the throat. The patient was instructed to wash his mouth out after every Advair dose to prevent thrush. No referral is re recommended at this time, and the patient was asked to schedule a follow-up appointment in 30 days. Patients should be seen in four to six weeks to be reevaluated after treatment to assess muscle pain resolution. The patient was also instructed to return to the clinic for worsening of symptoms or if a fever develops.